Okay, everybody, today I'm going to show you how to do the fabled Eldridge knot. Uh, it's not actually as difficult as you might think. I think it's actually easier than tying a double wincer, but that's just because I uh, have more practice doing the Eldridge. So, here's what you do. You start off, just lay the tie. Um, you've got the seam here, lay it seam side down, and then go ahead and grab your tie, put your finger in the middle here, take your thumb and your middle finger, and just kind of fold that over, giving it a nice crease, like so. And adjust your length, make sure that the bottom of your tie is where it needs to be at the middle of your belt line. Then from here, you're going to take the tail, wrap it around the front, around the back, and then bring it through, and wrapping it over, and pull it through like this. So you've got this, now bring it around the front, and then around the back again, and pull it through the front. And what you've got here is just a little triangle, right? So that's the, the base, the foundation, if you will, of your knot. Then from here, you're going to take the tail, wrap it around the front, around the back, and then bring it through, and wrapping it over, and pull it through like this. So you've got this, now bring it around the front, and then around the back again, and pull it through the front. And what you've got here is just a little triangle, right? So that's the, the base, the foundation, if you will, of your knot. Now from here, the next step is to actually just loop it around twice to give it that uh, extra complexity. So what you're going to do is you've got it hanging down from the front like this, stick it around the back again, like so, and then bring it through like this and go ahead and loop it around the back, tuck it around back, like this. Go ahead and pull that tight, get it snug. And again, bring it up and around. Tuck it back through again. And there you have it. That's your Eldridge. Now from here, the next step is to actually just loop it around twice to give it that uh, extra complexity. So what you're going to do is you've got it hanging down from the front like this, stick it around the back again like so, and then bring it through like this, and go ahead and loop it around the back, tuck it around back like this. Go ahead and pull that tight, get it snug. And again, bring it up and around, tuck it back through again, and there you have it. That's your Eldridge. So go ahead and snug everything up a little bit, make sure everything's flattened out. You don't want, you see it's trying to form these wrinkles here, you don't want that. You want it to lay flat. Take any excess tail that you have, just kind of tuck it underneath your collar. And if this part of the tie is too wide, I just go ahead and fold that down on itself, like I'm doing right here. Just kind of fold it on, down onto itself, and that's basically it. Like I said, make sure you've got everything laid flat. I like to take metal collar stays and stick those in there instead of the plastic ones. That helps the collar stick a little better, stay a little straighter. And then go ahead and center your knot. And there you have it. Nice sophisticated looking tie, it looks really good, it draws a lot of attention, people notice it. And uh, it's really not that hard to do. The first couple times you do it, it's going to take some practice, but as you can see with a little practice, you can be able to tie it in just a couple minutes really quickly and get about uh, your business and uh, looking good while you're at it. So I thank you very much for watching. If this video helped you out, make sure you check out my channel. I've got a lot of other how-to videos on things, mostly about cars and stuff, but I'm trying to branch out. 
So check it out, subscribe, and thank you again.